So there you can see, now I've gone ahead and uh, attached the newly frosted clear parts. And as you can no doubt uh, see, I have in fact painted the ship. Because um, uh, I actually didn't have any flat clear for a couple of days, but I did have some copper paint, so I went ahead and painted it. Um, while I uh, waited for an opportunity to get some, uh, some flat clear. Um, anyway, as you can see, the, uh, the frosted parts have been added, and you can see there's a remarkable improvement in, uh, in the clear part. There's more of a, a general glowing coming from inside, rather than three very distinct spots. Um, likewise with the wingtips, though it's, it's a little more obvious with the wings because they're, uh, uh, the LEDs are mounted so close to them, which couldn't really have been helped without some surgery to the kit. But um, see, there's the other one, and it looks pretty much the same. Uh, there is, though, one other little thing that I like to do sometimes that uh, can help, and that is cotton balls. A little bit of teased out cotton balls and uh, I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Well, I've gone ahead and uh, stuffed a little bit of a teased out cotton ball. Basically, I just took a cotton ball and just kind of stretched it out like that and inserted it in the uh, the opening of the front of the ship just, uh, just in front of the LEDs and I'm kind of bummed that um, it hasn't actually made as significant a difference as I had hoped it would. It does look a bit better, but um, it's not quite so obvious as I had uh, I had hoped. Um, however, I did try it in one of the wingtips, and it actually looks a lot better. Uh, it's kind of created a, a, the uh, the cotton itself has picked up the glow from the LED, and uh, just kind of illuminated it as a a general kind of wad of light, as opposed to I'll show you the other one, which I haven't inserted which is just kind of a spotlight pointed out the wingtip. Um, so I'm going to, uh, I'm definitely going to put a bit of cotton in uh, the other wingtip as well, but um, uh, I'm quite happy with, uh, with, this, uh, with how it's turned out here. Um, as you can see, the death ray here, what I actually did to uh, reduce the intensity of the LED was um, well, I just didn't take out the masking tape. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you can make it out there, but um, I put a bit of masking tape over the LED for when I uh, when I painted the ship, and then I just forgot to uh, take it out when I inserted the uh, the lens. And I'll be damned if it doesn't look, you know, far better. So you can actually make out the texture of the eye. Uh, which has kind of a um, a lenticular kind of appearance to it. I don't know if you can make it out in the video, but uh, sort of like a um, an insect's eye. See here, I'll, I'll back it off a little bit. I think you can make it out a little better. But um, basically, uh, for all intents and purposes, the ship is done. Um, and... Uh, once again, repeating my uh, my mantra for this build, it has been pretty quick and dirty. Um, you can see I never did anything with the seam on the eye stock, nor the uh, the seam on the bottom of the ship. Um, but uh, overall, I'm uh, very pleased with the results that I got for you know only taking, I think this was like three days to build. Uh, so to anyone out there who's ever been afraid to try a lighting project, you've wanted to, but you've been concerned about the cost, the difficulty, the time it would take. I think I've gone, I think I've proven in the last few days that it doesn't really have to be any of those. I mean, from start to finish, I built this in four days, including the lighting system, everything. The entire thing was done in four days, you know? It's really not difficult. Um, if I had done this two years ago as my first ever lighting project, it probably would have turned out almost exactly the same. Uh, none of the skills I used to build this were anything beyond the skills I had the first ever time I attempted a lighting project. Uh, it's, 
Basically what I'm saying is it's not difficult and don't be afraid to try. It won't cost you a lot to get some supplies. Uh, you know, I've, as I've said before, a soldering iron. Um, you know, if you get a soldering iron and a few odds and ends, a uh, wire wrapping tool, I, I don't know, all my stuff's all over the place, I can't find it right now. But, you know, a, some wire, some LEDs, you might spend 30 or 40 dollars and just experiment. Have some fun. Once, you, once you're confident in, in, uh, in the experimentation that you've done, you know, then go out and order a, a batch of LEDs. You know, I get mine, I've said many times, I get all mine from superbrightleds.com. Um, you know, order, order a batch. You know, look through their list of everything they've got and uh, pick and choose based on whatever project you want to do. You know, if it's going to require, you know, five blues and five greens and twelve reds and whatever, you know, buy a few extras. So you've got a couple in case you make a mistake. Um, but, you know, just have fun. That's the entire point of the hobby, is to have fun and to be creative. And that's the whole purpose of, of, of building a lit model, is to be that extra little bit of creativity. Um, if you ask me, it really makes a model come alive. Uh, you know, adding that little bit of extra oomph. You know, I've gone to model shows and seen, you know, static model ships that were absolutely stunning. But nobody pays attention to them because there's that helicopter with the motorized rotors on it. Or, uh, that model starship with the lit windows. Or then the lit engines and whatnot, you know? Everyone looks at them because they've got that little extra bit of realism to them. That's, that's just the way I, I look at it. Uh, you, you know, you may think differently, but it's just that one more skill to include in your, your, you know, in your toolbox. And, uh, but, you know, don't be afraid to try. You know, go out there and pick up some stuff and just have some fun. You know, maybe you'll uh, maybe you'll enjoy it, maybe you won't, but you know, at least you'll be able to say you tried. So So yeah, that's uh pretty much where I'm going to leave it. Um I'm not sure where else I can really go from here. You know, I may uh I may come back to this series at some point in the future. Um you know, maybe try and throw in some advanced techniques, like um, the base I built for my NSEA protector. Uh, you know, concealing wiring, you know, adding a base with uh, a power socket uh, for an external power supply. How to, how to, you know, build something like that, or whatnot. But for the time being, I think I've said all I came to say. You know, to everyone out there, four days, like I said. It's not difficult. It's fun. It's just don't be scared. So to all my fellow modelers out there, I say thank you very much for watching. Uh, please send me your comments, your questions, your compliments, your complaints, everything. Uh, if I did something wrong in your opinion, if I did something right, I relish all comers, I read all comments. Uh, so yes, again, thank you very much for watching. And uh, to everyone out there, happy modeling.